a sling can oftentimes be the most overlooked component on a rifle. Some rifles don't come with sling attachment options from the factory. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install swivel sling studs for a sling option on the Ruger 1022. To get started, check that the chamber is clear and the firearm is unloaded. Remove the barrel band screw to remove the barrel band. Lock the bolt back as shown here. Adjust the safety to the middle position and begin loosening the takedown screw. Once the takedown screw is completely loosened, you can now remove the wood stock from the rifle. Measuring from the front of the wood stock, one inch to an inch and a half, is typically the mounting location for the swivel sling stud. However, on the Ruger 1022, the barrel band is obstructing this location. One option would be to mount the sling stud two to two and a half inches rearward of the barrel band. This would allow you to use a sling stud bipod. Since I'm not using a bipod, instead I will mount my sling stud just ahead of the barrel band at around the inch and a quarter mark. Traditionally, the rear swivel sling stud is mounted two to two and a half inches from the rear of the buttstock. For my application, I went with the Uncle Mike swivel sling studs with an 11 64th drill bit. Apply a layer of clear tape to both the front and rear where the holes will be drilled for the sling studs. This helps to prevent accidental marring of the wood stock and assist the drilling process in the beginning. Mark a general location for the measurement and then do your best to eyeball the center of the rifle stock. When creating a hole with a drill, it's ideal to use a hammer and center punch the exact location of the hole. This prevents wandering of the drill bit. Begin the drilling nice and slow, ensure that the drill bit remains straight and level. Be sure to make your hole as deep as needed for the sling stud screw. Remove the tape and clean the hole. Use the smaller of the two studs for the front. Adding a couple of drops of dish soap will assist the threading of the screw into the wood. Begin threading the stud by hand using strong downward pressure. Ensure that the stud remains straight. It may be necessary to use pliers in the initial process. Again, using downward pressure, slowly turn and thread the screw into the wood. Once the threads begin to grab on their own, you can then insert an Allen key and finish the process by hand. Take note of the white locking washer. When it begins to crush, stop. Properly align the sling stud as shown and do not over tighten. Repeat the process exactly the same for the rear stud. Remember, do not over tighten. That's it, really straightforward, really simple. Uh, if this helped you out at all, feel free to give me a little like down there. Every like helps. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask away. I'll do my best to answer them in the most professional way possible. Uh, but uh, we'll have some more videos coming out here soon. And until then, we'll catch you guys next time.